Well, just about that year, across to Iowa, there's close to a million acres you can see there. A couple of quick notes here before we really get into the video. I'm back home now. This is my popcorn field at the house. This is about the derecho event that went through Iowa and Illinois, Indiana, parts of Ohio. This is a storm that moved like 770 miles in, uh, like I think, a 14-hour period, like an average of 55 miles an hour. But out in Iowa and where I was at this week, I was out there on business and went right through some of the worst of the storm damage. So I stopped and documented that a little bit they had 80 to 100 mile an hour winds they lost a lot of corn a lot of corn um, grain facilities damage to buildings and of course probably equipment in the buildings all kinds of stuff so i know there's going to be questions about crop insurance and can we put cattle or pigs out on this corn and all that i'm going to link to the farm for profit podcast i had dinner with those guys in iowa uh, they all farm and work right in that area where some of the worst of the damage was and they have some really good resources they talked to a meteorologist a farmer a crop insurance agent and some other people um, it's a really good resource so i'm going to link to that i'm not going to be able to answer all the questions about that stuff that dives into it quite a bit deeper with people that are more local so to start this video i pulled off a of highway 30 on my way home yesterday i saw a field that had already been disc down uh, it wasn't cut for forage, it was disc down, and I happened to see a guy's tractor cab moving in the next field, and he was kind enough to let me ride with him, so we're going to see what he was doing there. And I saw a damaged grain facility, um, got some video of that and some pictures with permission of the owner. Check out the video, look up those resources. We're sitting pretty good here still in Indiana, but I need you to see what was going on in Iowa. It's pretty rough out there. So uh, here's a cornfield in Marshall County, Iowa. I just pulled off on this gravel road off of highway 30 it's been disc down already and i know it wasn't cut for forage uh for silage uh because i can see the whole ears out here and it stinks out here i wondered if it would because uh, this corn went down when it was green so it's getting rotten so yeah insurance adjuster definitely already said uh zero out this field uh disc it under so yeah here's what i don't know this is maybe an 80 uh kind of goes around this other property here so it's probably more than that but yeah absolute zero on this one so we've got 1600 acres here to do yeah at least right now today but i'm assuming by next week we're be about four thousand or so yeah their plan is just to try and get it all on the ground and get it dead Right. And come back in a couple of weeks, we'll price clear. This is 32%. Oh, they try to decompose it? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. this field's probably 280, 275 bushel corn. I mean, 38,000. There's freaking all your years on this thing. Yeah. There's already molds starting on the stuff on yeah. the bottom. Yeah. We grow popcorn, so yeah. we're kind of used to a little bit of down corn, and if it touches the dirt, yeah. you don't want it. There's any storage around here? Yeah, we lost uh, four bins, three grain legs, and that machine shed roof right over there. You can see off the that glass. No fun. Of course, in 2011, it was early enough, the corn wasn't pollinated, so it deep went back up about three rows over. Oh, uh, yeah, and trying we could, we could make harvest it. it, but this we destroy more stuff trying to get this. Oh, and yeah, it was just uh, what you do to the machines. Oh, uh, the dirt that you're going through it, but just destroy them. You'd use a ton of fuel. Oh, boy. Creeping along. Yep. One thing we noticed yesterday when we were out with the adjuster, anything that's starting to die or whatever, it's just snapping off and pinching yeah. over about a foot off the ground. I've wondered about, what are they saying about like fertility? Think there'll be people skipping a lot next year? Well, you know, I just <laughs> talking to my guy that I get all my fertilizer from and he was gonna do a little research and see, you know, Theoretically, we're not removing. I mean, the core plant needs 
a bunch, but we're putting it all right back into the dirt. So yeah. I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do fertility wise next year. I guess I'm gonna get all manure this year. Yeah, you'd be done early. <laughs> I'll be wondering who your passenger is. Yeah. Well, just about that, yeah. Across to Iowa, there's close to a million acres that get sued up. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Yeah, everybody likes to float around. 10 million like the day after. Well, there's probably 10 to 12 of some damage. damage. Yeah. But, and that's just from the ratio of winds. Well, at least a million of that's probably going to get zeroed, if not two. And then the rest of it's going to be a 50% reduction. Right. Yeah. Even if it's got good value to it. Sure. And then you get west of here, west and a little bit to the south, the droughts probably damage more acres than the wind did. Yeah. Well, and you're gonna look, it's harvested. Right now, quality. That's what the insurance company's worried about is combine the ship that weighs 45 pounds. Yeah. And then you can't, can't get rid of it. And I asked him, like, so what if we combine a bunch of that? He goes, well, we'll settle with you on it. We'll just have to dig a hole and bury it. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fun, yeah. Yeah. I go to all the effort to just get rid of it. I was off nice. The man let me ride with him. It's not any fun. So I told him what I was doing. He said, that's fine. <laughs> Looked up the Facebook page. Well, he didn't track her, but yeah, this really sucks. So he said they've got 1,600 acres of corn like this that's been zeroed out by insurance out of, I think he said, 4,600. And he suspects they might do it all by the end of it. So, yeah, this is is not fun. You got neighbors doing the same thing. They're spreading some hog manure out here. So he says, well, at least we'll have that job done earlier than usual. But yeah, you wouldn't want to run a combine through this. But look at this. Look right down here. So right down here. Look, that's. I mean, that's not a huge year, but. That's a perfectly fine ear right now, but getting a combine through this mess would be ridiculous. And any of this stuff, if you heard me say in the tractor, well, I know from popcorn, popcorn goes down a little bit. Any of this that touches the ground or is close enough for rain splashes dirt up on it, it's gonna start getting moldy and rotten. These guys are gonna have storage issues. I mean, it's, what does get harvested that was damaged isn't going to be great. So this is a real predicament out here. Here's what's left by the side of the road that he hadn't disked yet. It's actually the same tillage tool we have. And it's kind of interesting. I thought, you know, one pass of this, you're, the corn is actually going to hold the tool up. But, uh, yeah, it's the same vertical till tool we have, a 26-23. And it's... It's getting it in one pass here, what they want to do with it. So I guess that's good. He said five mile an hour seems to do the trick. Not any faster than that. But you see this stuff laying down because it went down when it was green. Just the weight of it because of the moisture, it can't come back up. If the roots are still in the ground even, it's not going to come back up. See, you got an ear. Well, that one jumped off. Let's see. But see, there's an ear touching the ground. That one's going to be junk and moldy by the time this stuff would be dry enough to harvest. And but you don't even know where the row is for your corn head. It's just, it's no good. And he said they, what do you tell me? They lost a few bins and, you know, co-ops and elevators are going to have lost bins. This is, this is just a bad, a bad deal. He was saying he thinks really the market We'll show it next year once, you know, we really get a handle on how many acres. He thought there's going to be one to two million that was just going to be absolute zero. And then, you know, that 
10 million figure that was floating around right after the storm. He says there probably is that much that's damaged. So some top end yield gone. Quality is gonna be an issue with the stuff that does get harvested. So that's gonna be tough. He was telling me uh, his insurance agent said they could harvest some, but if the quality's junk, you know, they'd end up measuring what they harvested and then uh, tell them to dig a hole and bury it. So. I don't know, not fun, um, especially, uh, you know, don't like to see others misfortune, but uh, the reality of it is um, corn prices have been going up and I have a pretty good crop that's good for me. And that's not trying to, to brag. Uh, we all get our turn in the barrel. We had um, 2015, we only averaged 130 bushel an acre because uh, we drowned very, very, locally in our area um we lost our whole river bottom field i was telling him about that that um, it stunk like this stuff is gonna stink when it all just laid flat and was rotting so yeah i'm definitely uh, not saying a yay hooray <laughs> i'm gonna have better crop prices because of this because uh it'll be my turn again someday that's for sure this is awesome dirt though i will say that very black, high organic matter stuff, and they're putting hog manure on it too. I better watch out. Just wearing my tennis shoes. So I'm gonna step on that right there. So yeah, we go over here in kind of the bulk of the field. The leaves are ripped off, you know. I've seen worse spots on the way here Sunday, so maybe I'll catch some of those yet on video or something, but yeah some of those hills along the highway are just man they just got murdered well thank you to mr justin for letting me ride with him and get back off this gravel road and back on 30 maybe see some more damage on the way home so there he's off disking that sucks pulled off the highway again there's another one in real bad shape I'm uh, don't know exactly where I'm at still uh, just off of 30 the, um, I think I'm on the east side of Marshalltown now but this area is particularly bad there's almost nothing standing up in these fields these are really really trashed I'm gonna go around the corner up here because I saw a big grain bin crushed from the highway. So these guys had their whole grain facility destroyed here. <laughs> Two bins wiped clear off their pads. Now there's one. There's the other one. Looks like they got maybe one of those paddle sweep power sweeps. It's still sitting there. That bin's wadded up over there. This bin that's crushed in from the west side, they're loading corn out of it right now. So I didn't kind of expect to see that. I bet right where that bin is, at the bottom of that U, uh, where kind of the big dent is, I, I bet that's how much corn was left in that thing because it kind of, you know, had pressure on the inside, held against the wind, but the top, not so much. Well, here's a there's a guy wire is probably for the leg or something the leg is leaning over there i think on the other side of the dryer i could see the motor for the leg some fans and stuff laying around but you could probably hear the uh grain vac running on the other side but this is all trash so yeah if, if they do have a crop to harvest they ain't storing it here this year I'm walking around the edge here and we had some issues with this with a uh, boat storage that got blown up by wind so they're gonna have debris out here in the field to deal with the roof structure all mangled up a mess well, those guys said I could uh, post a pic or a video of the bins but uh, 
they didn't want to be on or uh, have any names or anything so I definitely uh, asked because you know all these farms out here they're in a tough situation they may not uh, want the extra attention at the moment they got enough to deal with so I can certainly respect that they're going to a thing soon Senator Grassley's coming out uh, they own some other storage facilities we're going to talk about that and uh, Sonny Purdue Ag Secretary is coming out uh, tomorrow like you said so uh, among the farming they've got to handle uh, they get to talk to politicians too, uh, give them a first-hand account of what's going on I know a little bit what that's like we did that in 2012 we talked to one of the undersecretaries of ag from USDA and had kind of a big media event one day out at the farm so those guys are busy so I'm not gonna bother them any longer I'm gonna head on home uh, there's an excavator over there tearing down that Quonset hut or whatever you want to call it uh, here by this field there's a couple pieces of debris in the side ditch from stuff blowing around but how well you can see that cornfield over there or over there it's just garbage that's all I can say this hilltop here on the other side of the truck it's just flat it's just gonna rot ferment on top of itself that grain is too wet to harvest so by the time it dries down it's going to be rotten and junk you're not even going to be able to really pick it up with the corn head anyway so a lot of this is going to be a zero on insurance so they'll get some money out of it it won't make them whole but it'll it'll be something for sure and i'm telling you we had 60 acres of corn like this that went down when it was mature not when it was green and yeah that's it's hard on your equipment if you run a combine through this you're going to be running all kinds of dirt through it uh, we were picking up rocks with the corn head because we were running it so low that's not something you want to be doing um so the fields that do get harvested that don't get zeroed out that equipment's going to take a pounding it's going to take more fuel there's going to be more repair costs it's going to take more time so even the stuff that does get harvested um there at some point you you probably uh would rather not harvest it than harvest it just um just because of the time and effort and cost that will be involved in it so yeah there's a building getting destroyed maybe i think the planter was maybe in there because it's pulled out but uh yeah more destruction in iowa Here's a good spot if you want to call it that to see some damage. I'm just a couple of hundred yards off uh, Highway 30. I'm a bit west of Marshalltown. Uh, the sign there says 240th Street. So facing west here, and that that is just a tangled mess. You can't do anything with that. Sorry, it's just it's because it's green. It's, it's not able to come back up and they were really droughty here too to an extent and like at the farm progress show where I just came from um, man it was dry out there huge cracks in the ground uh, I heard they only got like half an inch of rain with this big storm so that didn't help either and this stuff is just green and wet and heavy it's laying on top of itself it can't come back up so now if we turn around then we're on the downhill side then we got the, the road here and just, I was saying these hillsides, these kind of um, west facing hillsides, they just got plastered. I mean, that's, that's just flat, it's destroyed. What is very little standing up, um, the leaves are all tattered, you know, it's lost a lot of its photosynthetic ability. So I know um, those of you that don't, you know understand how corn grows and how it gets harvested I mean this just is not gonna work that's why um, talk about insurance being zeroed out that doesn't mean they're getting zero payment they are gonna get something but that means okay uh, insurance adjuster came looked at the field like yeah just this one under this you're not gonna get a, a crop out of this um, the best route to go is gonna be to just destroy it unfortunately so yeah this field behind me is it is in really bad shape this is probably going to be another 
one of those zero ones. Uh, the guy that told me he was going to be working under 1,600 acres out of, I think, he said 4,600. He thinks there's going to be more of it zeroed out. Um, it's going to be another thing. It's going to take the adjusters time to get through all this. There's a lot of acres affected here. We're talking like 10 million acres. Not all 10 million is like is like this, but there's some extended damage. Hey, look at that hillside. Just absolutely flattened. No good corn out there. More junk corn. That's probably the flattest one I've seen. Small field, but it's pretty bad. Some more really flat corn. A little bit of beans. And then we got a blown away tool shed and a destroyed grain facility. Another one totally messed up. There's some pieces of grain bin out there too from the farm right on the other side of this field. So, more fun. Robot siding mowing at City Tractor. A little steel robo mower. Onions on I-80 right at the I-80 truck stop. Note that this corn went down on August 10th. If it had been a month later, it would have been nearly mature, if not already fully mature. So that makes a big difference on how much is going to be harvested because since it went down in August, it's not going to mature correctly. There's going to be issues there. And check out that Farm for Profit podcast. They're going to do a second episode because they've learned some things like, yes, it could be grazed or chopped. But no, if the insurance company zeroes it out, you can't harvest it and sell the grain. So check that out. Thanks for watching.